Hello, welcome to a small tutorial on soldering of the AMC 1280 USB kit. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you quickly uh, uh, a few things about the front panel, uh, so you can uh, mount it inside. Uh, you just have to make sure that it's the correct uh, orientation. Don't solder uh, the buttons on this side, it has to be on the other side. There's actually marks around where the button should be soldered. Then uh, you'll have to uh, make a small connector for the back, which has to be soldered first. Uh, this can be made from a, a normal female pin header, 254 uh, millimeters. So you'll have to put it on the back of the board, like this. Uh, and it has to be soldered first uh, because the screen will go over it will be soldered in place so you won't have access to solder that otherwise uh, as always you can see here the uh, little outline that uh, is uh, here have to be soldered there and uh, on the other side you can see the outline for the LCD where it sits you can see there. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna use another board. I already have the connector. Uh, have this connector already soldered there in place. And um, here uh, you can see I put a little 16 uh, pins, uh, male, which uh, they go this way inside. And this will give enough clearance to go through for the LCD. So the LCD will sit nice and flat. You will see the pins there. Now to align this, uh, because it has a little misalignment, you don't want to solder it wrong and then it won't fit in the 3D print case. Uh, so what I usually do to align this, I just put it in the case like this before it's soldered, and then I solder uh, the edge pins, this one, the last one, at the inside here. Uh, of course, it's easier if you have something to hold it while you're soldering. Um, I use some of these uh, power clips I have from some project. So let's keep the other one there. All right. Let's make sure this aligned there. Okay. Now that it's all sitting there in place, you can apply some solder and solder it. Uh, now after uh, after this is done you might want to place the connector for uh, the main board you're gonna need uh, again some of the 90 degrees uh, pins male which you cut them oh, excuse me which you cut them uh, uh, exactly the length of the pins and then you remove one here you can remove it uh, easily uh, by using one of these uh, wire cutters just grab it and pull it out it will come straight out so this will have to sit like this so why I'm doing this, because when you mount it in the box actually, it will sit like this, and it will clip on the back of the LCD, of the front panel. So it's not soldered yet, but uh, just to show you uh, how you 
can solder it so you can you can place it before you solder it like this then press it all the way down make sure that it sits and then you can solder uh, those pins there excuse me for the interruption okay so uh, you just uh, push it all the way down and then you can solder on top of uh, the pins there you can solder one here for example one in the middle and one in the head and then you can remove it lift it and uh, remove it to solder the rest upside down uh, so this will keep it in place uh, aligned for the di distance so you can align correctly uh, and then of course after uh, uh, you connect uh, LCD here let me come back to that uh, you can connect the encoder also like that and then solder it so it can uh, go through like this and uh, also uh, when you do a assembly of the board in the box uh, you will have to 3D print some little bo uh, buttons you may have to massage it a little bit to be easy to press it release uh, so I'll put all of them uh, yeah, in this case needs to be a little trimmed there. I'm gonna use this, it's easier. Um, okay, add some another one, and uh, I'll use the other one. Okay. Now, so this will sit like this down here. All right, and you can secure uh, the front panel PCB with uh, some screws you can place in there. Okay, and of course, like on the big box, when you put the board, it will connect like this. It sits down. All right, that's the basic for the assembly for the AMC 1280 USB deluxe kit. Um, now I bought the uh, 60F extension board. Um, it, it comes. Uh, almost ready. The only thing you'll have to connect to solder is those connectors here, uh, which uh, you'll have to source. It's very, uh, very inexpensive. Then you can uh, use some pin headers to add some uh, extra options here, so you can switch between 8 and 12 bit. And uh, cut the dress on the bottom, and of course. Uh, the 90 degrees uh, connector which I put here so when it sits uh, on top of the board on the box it can be connected like this it, I can use a ribbon to go down it uh, keeps lower profile so you can place it inside the computer uh, uh, bay if you want to Okay, and uh, of course uh, the supports for the box. I have the still uh, files for these two, as well as the buttons. And you can see how they get mounted there. Uh, just a single uh, screw holds it together. Okay. And the last one 
you can see that's why they have a little uh, corner there so they can uh, connect uh, all the pins without uh, getting in the way all right well uh, i hope that's uh, explaining uh, a little bit uh, the assembly of the kit uh, which is uh, very easy um, the at mega 1280 microcontroller it's already mounted on the bottom you don't have to mess with it at all it comes uh, pre flashed with uh, firmware so the only thing you have to do is just to do the assembly it powered up and uh, uh, do the rest of the connections you need for the platform uh, it refers with the motors and the uh, drives and the uh, sensors well uh, thanks for watching uh, uh, if you have any questions or uh, need more explanation on the procedure, uh, let me know. I may revisit this uh, video and uh, make it even better. Thanks for watching.